This year's tournament is back out to a full build out after a reimagined year Yanni, in 2021 because of what else? COVID. Of course. <laughs> and that means Honda is continuing to expand on its most popular fan viewing spots. The big change this year, double decker seating at the 16th green and 17th tee, which of course is part of the famous bear trap. Those daunting three holes, 15, 16, and 17, that make up the bear trap, part of the draw, of course, of the Honda Classic. And ask anyone, this tournament would not be what it is today without the vision of this executive director, Ken Kennerly. Tiffany Kenny hit the champion course with Kennerly to find out the secret to the Honda's success. You must know this course so well. <laughs> You know what, we've, uh, we've, we've been around it a few times, obviously. <laughs> For 16 years, Ken Kennerly has been the drive behind the Honda Classic. What is it about the championship course here at PGA National that makes it so special and makes players want to come back and tackle it year after year? Well, I think when Mr. Nicholas redesigned the Tom Fazio course, he wanted to put in, you know, these, these three strategic holes that, you know, make you think a little bit coming down the stretch. Down the stretch can leave golfers up a creek, holes 15, 16, and 17, the bear trap. I love what the plaque says. It should be won or lost right here. Always. This is where it starts. Always. I mean, when Jack <laughs> Nicholas redesigned this golf course, that was exactly what he wanted this to become. And that's why the bear trap is so iconic. And it sits in the minds of a lot of these players. So, I mean, not only are the players thinking about the bear trap now they got to walk off of 14 and they got to look at this big <laughs> monster here they go oh boy what am i getting into yeah, it's pretty imposing you know jack is like of course this isn't a hard hole you just hit a little fade up there <laughs> under the green two putt go on but that's you jack know, yeah that's jack <laughs> the bear trap is a fan favorite with roars that can be heard all the way back to the clubhouse In the hole! while people are watching golf out here they're also enjoying themselves and you know, having a few drinks, uh, a, few. Know, a few, just a few, some <laughs> water, some Coke and uh, others uh, with a little bit of alcohol in them. But it's, it's just become a, a great back nine of golf. This is a community that wants to come out here and have a good time. You know, obviously they're here to watch some golf, but they're also here to see their friends, to network and to socialize and just have fun. And then our new one here on the left of 16 is our Garrison Brothers uh, bourbon Lounge. When Kennerly took over the Honda Classic, he knew the tournament needed to be more than just about golf. You know, it's right as we enter the 16th hole, which of course is the second hole in the bear trap. Oh man, I think the bear trap is going to be a little louder with the bourbon tent right, <laughs> right in the middle of it. I mean, we're in the entertainment business, not just the golf business. I know I say that all the time, but it's so true. As much as the player field is very, very important, it's not the end all. You know, the majors have all the great players in the world. We've got a lot of great players here, but our success is built on the fact that we've created really a, an entertainment platform. We appeal to so many different groups. Kids 15 and under are free. They don't have to pay. We have a great partner in Pratt & Whitney for our military appreciation pavilion. So of course they get in complimentary thanks to Pratt & Whitney. And so we've really thought you know, about every group and every opportunity to bring people out here, and it's working. Honda's hole-in-one this year is a build-out that is bigger and better than ever. How long does this build-out take? So we start the build um, really right after Thanksgiving. I mean, it's, 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 it's longer than people realize. It will feature double-decker seating at the Bear Trap. It's bigger than I recall, and this is going to be, these are suites. These are all suites, private suites here at the Bear Trap with phenomenal views. TV tower is right here, so I mean the consumer is literally next to the TV compound. And, and again, the views up there are phenomenal. Yeah, what a, what a spot to Can watch. Can I take you up there to see? Yeah, let's go look. This by itself is one of the oh. best uh, visible holes on the PGA Tour, and this is 16. So now we're on the brand new second level of the Bear Trap. It's the Bear Trap Reserve. So we're up above what was the bear trap, what is the bear trap. You know, we use glass here so people can see through it. Again, the players come through the tunnel. But now we're, you know, probably about, you know, 15, 20 feet above the normal bear trap. And the views are just absolutely phenomenal. So this, this is, is going to just be spectacular for the people well, up here. We think so. And the demand, the demand has been there. A demand that will likely continue to grow as Honda's hospitality rivals the action on the course. I think this community is ready to go. Our ticket sales are doing very, very well. Our hospitality, for the most part, is sold out. So I think you're, we're going to see some great crowds. What they are, we don't know, but it, it's going to be a phenomenal week. And when Tiffany asked Kennerly how he's fared at the Bear Trap, he said he's probably consistent with the majority of players who come through. More balls in the water 
Then on the dry surface, Shane, I've played that hole a couple times, the holes. Uh, I have some wet balls in there as well. They it's, got a couple of It's balls. hard, man. It's, it's, hard. it's not easy. You got to think, once you get through the bear trap, you still got to go to 18. That's right. That's a par five, but at least it's a reachable par mm -hmm. five. It's a little easier hole for most players. There have been more than 1,600 balls hit in the water, including Yanni's on the bear trap <laughs> during tournament play since 2007. But guess who's feared the best? What do you think, Yanni? Uh, I'm going to guess Jim Furyk. Jim Furyk, how'd you know? He played 18 career rounds on the bear trap without a ball wow. in the water. Pretty impressive. On the flip side, Ryan Palmer, he's got a little trouble there. 17 balls in the water on the bear trap since 2007. That's the most of any player. Poor Ryan Palmer's just sitting at home <laughs> and he's just getting what? crushed.